All right, here's the up. Notice how, how far it goes up. And that starts shaking, it starts shuddering, and now we're going down. Oh, it went all the way down, and now we're finding our space. Hi everyone, it's Paul with the Howl Herald, and today we're on a cruise ship in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And we decided to bring around the HoloLens with us to test out a few things, so here is hologram on a ship in the middle of the ocean. So let's get to it. I don't know if you can notice that, but we are going, ooh, so let's get into it. I've got this hologram placed over here, the settings app on the horizon here, so you can kind of get an idea for how much it moves. I'll tell you when the boat moves and we can kind of see. Hopefully you'll notice that the holo holograms app is moving with the boat, but we noticed when it, the boat moves a lot, it almost goes up into space and it loses the space. So we'll see what we get out of this. One second, just give me a moment here. But otherwise you can just notice that the holograms are, oh, they're linked to the boat. They're not just floating in the air, like they're anchored to the movement of the boat. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they had that foresight. They're like, this is the place where it is. It's not like just floating there in the air. And I think really some of our other videos have shown this, but I think this is the greatest example because this is something we can't like control and the HoloLens can't control. And it doesn't know why it's happening. It just knows that it's happening. Okay, okay, here we go. We got a big one going. All right, here's the up. Notice how, how far it goes up. And that starts shaking, it starts shuddering, and now we're going down. Oh, it went all the way down, and now we're finding our space. So we lost it. We're done. It did it. But it goes right back to the same place. So the Howlands remembers where it was. It just loses it when the boat goes what, so far off kilter that it's like we're in a different space than what it remembers. So that's pretty interesting the way it remembers spaces. So here we're just waiting for another go. Hopefully we can get it going up. What I was seeing before was going up into space. The other one went down into the ground and lost our space. So we'll see what we get out of this. Uh, right now we're pretty chill. We're pretty relaxed. We're pretty relaxed. I think we're about to get a big one. Yep, there's a good one. There's a good one. Oh, it's actually steadied itself. Now we're just waiting for a big one to go up and send it so far off kilter. But it is interesting how the Howl Lens is linking so far to the boat. It's doing a very good job, actually. I'm very impressed. We are outside. It's a weird kind of lighting situation, so the hol hologram is a little faded. It's probably not showing up like that on the video, but it's showing up like that for me. So I'm trying to pay attention, I'm trying to keep my head straight, but you can see this isn't me shaking this much. That's the Howl Lens kind of almost being like, what am I looking at right now? So that was it, guys. That's how the holograms react in the middle of the ocean. You can see it tracks to the boat pretty well. But if the boat goes too far off kilter, the holograms go away, and the hololens loses where it is, and it says it has to find your space again. But we found as the boat continued to rock, the hololens got better and better at tracking. We only found it failed a couple times before it knew what it was doing. Um, but yeah, I think overall, the hololens passes in the middle of the ocean. Thanks.